well I might as well put this out here on YouTube because uh, somebody's gonna do this stupid thing I did also with this generator uh, what happened was I stole the battery backwards I was in a hurry and a little bit just get, it was raining a little bit and I was just in a hurry to just get the thing done and I installed the battery backwards because I had a sticker on it that looked like I don't know I took it as positive <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why I did that. I've never done something that stupid, but it kept blowing this fuse. This was called the total DC fuse, and I called up the tech support. And it does state in the manual if you install the battery backwards, you'll damage the starter flat out. So I disconnected the red wire from the starter, the, the small red wire, not the big one. And I noticed it wouldn't blow the fuse anymore. I took out the ignition switch, this panel is looking for burnt wires, nothing happened, nothing was wrong. So you could turn the switch on now, it doesn't blow the fuse. You turn it to run, and <laughs> I got this gigantic battery in here. And what I did was um, I tried taking apart the solenoid, and I really can't get this stupid thing apart. But you know, in an emergency situation, Somebody's going to do something like this stupid, just what I did, the same damn thing. Well, I'm going to tell you. You don't need to have, you don't need to have the uh, solenoid installed in the starter. You just jump it like that. Don't do what I did because actually it started a few times and one time it didn't start. It actually fried this solenoid. And you got to buy a whole new starter, I think, because it's all in debt. So it looks like that's the only way to sell it. So I'm going to order one, but I bet you it's pretty expensive uh, considering what the unit is. This was $800 new two years ago. Now they're a $1,000 discount. And this is cheap for a diesel generator. Usually they're way more money. So, and. You know, it's quite obvious in the sunlight, but somehow I looked at that sticker. I don't know, I had them reversed. I screwed it up. But I guarantee you, if you're in an emergency situation, somebody's going to do something stupid like that, too. Same stupid thing I did. Somebody will do it. You could still get it started just by jumping it, even without the solenoid. The solenoid's burned out. But what you'd have to do is disconnect this red wire. So, <laughs> if you're really preparing for when the sky's falling, um, you need to um, do all these things. Now, something else I got is um, a well, right? You got a well here. It's all okay. What this is, is a, um, you know, it's got a box here, a separate box. You open this up, you flip a switch. I already got this attached up in here because then I have this protected underneath something and wrapped in plastic. And you plug this into the generator. And this, this is a basically an electrical disconnect. And you just open up this box. You disconnect it. It's off the main power. Plug in your generator and you got water. Then it pumps up the tank. You don't need to run the generator all the time, but you'll get, you know, you can fill up different things and different jugs of water. Then you'll also have pressurized water for as long as this tank holds up. So, uh, you know, that's something else. Now I could probably go on to some other things, but that's just enough for this video. But I want to say that there's a number of things that you can actually screw up on. You'd be surprised. And me, knowing all this stuff that I think I know, I was just in a hurry. I put the battery in backwards. I need to get another starter. But you can see, I could still start that generator and make it run. It produces electricity. I have to have this small red wire disconnected from the starter motor, this small one. And I was checking out, you know, various things and little circuits to figure out which one it was. That doesn't blow the DC fuse. What it fries inside, if you reverse the battery terminals, what it fries is the solenoid on the starter, not the starter motor itself. But I'll guarantee they charge you, if they sell it together, they don't, uh, you know, they don't sell it just a solenoid. So that's a lesson I learned. Believe it or not, I don't do shit like this. I am very good with mechanical stuff but 
you just do some stupid garbage every once in a while no matter what you do how good you are at something 